I'm not really gonna tell you anything you didn't know already. I mean, not really. But it needs to be said, see what I did there? That Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the illest of Hans Omar, black female Lex Luthor, and the rest of the squad need to be openly mocked and called out for what they really are, the fraud squad. Hey everybody, your resident man in black is back for another edition of the best kept secret in the conservative movement, things that need to be said. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis. Really quick, I'd love it if all of you could head on over to Rumble, subscribe to our channel, and hit that plus button. And no matter where you watch our videos, please share, like, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love to read what you guys have to say, and I couldn't do what I do without all of you. Now, on with the show. Every establishment media outlet that exists promoted that AOC and the rest of the CCP, or the Climate Communist Party for those playing the home game, was arrested on Tuesday afternoon for protesting in front of the Supreme Court. First of all, these actresses playing activist, and yes, there's a reason actor, actress, and activist all begin with act, it's because they're constantly pretending to be someone they're not. But this time they pretended to be handcuffed, which you would think would have happened during an arrest, but that's only for the rest of us. Video would indicate that this group seems to be pretty special. One might even be inclined to think the whole thing was staged, which they have a track record of doing. They are actresses after all. Acting! Genius! Thank you! How were they allowed to party it up all day? have multiple photo ops and either march down the street or park their asses on the street in front of the Supreme Court before working in concert with police during their handcuffless arrests. I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility that some of the same cops from the same departments that allowed people into the Capitol during the events of January 6th might aid in escorting the unhandcuffed but arrested from the premises. It's curious, how were they allowed to do their pro-death protesting? Because if you actually listen to them, they love abortion. So it's no longer pro-choice or even pro-abortion, it's pro-death. But how were they allowed to do all that for an extended period of time before the cops allegedly eventually said, all right, ladies, you had enough of your fun in the sun, avoiding doing, you know, your actual jobs as members of Congress. It's imaginary handcuff time. Hold still, will ya? Does this help? Yeah, thanks. The three-lettered sloth known as AOC is used to pretending. After all, she did audition to be a member of Congress on an open casting call by extreme left organization Justice Democrats. We got over 10,000 nominations. Out of those 10,000 nominations, we found Alexandria. I've literally been live streaming my life and our political mm. actions since 2016. She staged another photo op in 2019 in front of an empty illegal immigrant detention center parking lot. Remember when she posed like she was in anguish while wearing a designer all white pantsuit? Yeah, that BS. And who could forget her performance on the floor of the house when she threw a tantrum like a four year old would be jealous of? I would focus on more of the fraud squad, but ain't nobody got time for that. Plus, Ilhan Omar's probably busy trying to get another close family member into the US, cementing her spot in the fraud squad. And Ayanna Presley is probably busy arguing with fellow racist Joy Reid and Jada Pinkett Smith over who gets to pull Will Smith's string to slap me. <laughs> oh, wow. And I know, I know, AOC would probably just say that I'm only being critical of the fraud squad because I want to date them. But she'd be wrong because I'm not into bestiality. And those Beastly man-haters, tell those chicks to shave their pits and call me. <laughs> on that note, what do all of you think out there? Did I go too far on this one? Are the Capitol Police going to throw me in the gulag? Or were these things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments, where I do read most and reply to some. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Rumble and hit that plus button. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored it or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook and check out more of our work at MRCTV.org. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kingadis.